morning. It's Wednesday, May 6th. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about presidential primaries and conventions. I'm not a fan of the current presidential primary system, which started in the 1970s. And it started because the voters claimed they didn't have enough say in the picking of candidates and it, it would be more democratic if we had primary system. Well, we have a primary system and only about 12 percent of the people who who can vote in those primaries do. So I don't know if that's really working at all. I have no objection with leaders of the party picking the candidate that they believe can win the election and be a decent president. I use the word decent because one can never be sure of greatness. If you look back at the history of our country, there have been events that have raised and lowered the view of presidents. We have had wars, recessions and depressions, epidemics and pandemics, and embassies held hostage and the rise and fall of governments opposing ours. These events have impacted on the historical view of the presidents presiding over our country when these events took place. And from what I know, the presidents picked by party leaders in smoke-filled back rooms did as good a job as those picked by the long and tedious, expensive primary process. So that's the way I feel about picking the president. And I say this because the question has come up, how much do conventions even matter anymore. The coronavirus has prompted Democrats and Republicans to reconsider their summer gatherings. But even before that, a debate was playing out over whether they were a ritual from a time gone by. Conventions have been a mainstay of American campaigns since the Republican Party gathered in Baltimore in 1831. But this year, They may join the list of crowded events, concerts, baseball games, movies, Broadway shows, forced off the stage because of the coronavirus. And as far as I'm concerned, I say it's about time. All you ever got from the conventions are speeches from losers and wannabes. No one ever remembers the promises made at the conventions. It's like they never happened. I don't remember anybody being called out by what he promised at the convention. So as far as I'm concerned, they're a waste of time. But you know what I think doesn't really matter? The Democratic leaders are discussing replacing their convention with a virtual gathering. And Republicans are unsure about holding the big spectacle that President Trump wants. Even before the the pandemic, a more fundamental debate was playing out. Has the American political convention become a ritual holdover from another age? Take a good hard look at it. Is all the organizing and the money and the time and the energy poured into a four-day extravaganza of parties, speeches, forums, lobbying and networking? You can make a strong argument that the convention has outlived its usefulness. Some say that the candidates need to get their prime time to speak to the nation. But they can get that anyhow. They don't need a convention. You just tell any of the networks that Joe Blow wants to blow his horn, and they'll put him on the air. So if you're a legitimate candidate, you don't need a convention. So... Why spend all the time and money and getting all the, all the delegates wrapped up and everything? I know it's history and everything, but it's outlived its usefulness. He picks a running mate, and there's no drama anymore. So the television networks really don't even want to do these things anymore. They've been systematically cutting back the hours of the primetime coverage devoted to events that have become little more than a scripted advertisement. So if you take a close look at it, all the convention does is gives the candidate a short-lived bump in the polls 
until the next guy gets up and has his convention. So let's not waste any more of our time and money and effort and everything on conventions. So let me leave you with this thought. If they have the convention just there and they're Zoomed, instead of filling a convention center and spending all that money having people travel all over the country, it would be a great success if in the future conventions were Zoomed and then the thing would be over in a couple of hours and we could all get back to work. Speaking of getting back to work, I hope we all can get back to work soon. Staying at home must be killing you people. It's killing me and I don't have to go to work. In any event, thanks for listening. I'll be back tomorrow and have a wonderful day. Bye.